Teddy Roosevelt was America's first Nobel Peace Prize laureate and America's first Nobel Prize winner. She was America's first woman Nobel Prize winner and America's first woman Nobel laureate. Roosevelt was America's reform president, fighting against the excesses of business and industry by taking on industrialists like Morgan and Rockefeller and taming the monopolistic power of the trusts. She took on the same excesses at the grassroots level and professionalized social work, taking care of the poor, the homeless, and the immigrants. Who was this great American reformer? Jane Addams. In the last quarter of the 19th century, American industry and technology were transforming the way Americans lived and worked. Men and women by the thousands were leaving the farms for factories and businesses. At the same time, millions of immigrants poured into America's cities. The cities, unprepared for the new societal patterns, were unable to cope with the large numbers of people. Except for wealthy neighborhoods, America's largest cities became vast slums. Healthcare, education, housing and sanitation were practically non-existent. Jane Addams saw the need for a different approach to help the poor and the unfortunate. Jane Addams was born in 1860, the eighth of nine children in an upper middle class home in Cedarville, Illinois. After an uncertain young adulthood, Addams had a moment of profound insight. In 1888, while traveling with her friend Ellen G. Starr in England, she visited Toynbee Hall, a settlement house in London's impoverished East End. Settlement houses were places in London's slums where social activists worked to help the poor and needy. When Adams and Starr returned to Chicago in 1889, they opened Hull House. Located in an abandoned mansion on Halstead Street, Hull House provided a nursery and kindergarten for young children, lessons in cooking and sewing for young girls, and a club for teenage boys in an attempt to prevent the formation of tenement gangs. There, Adams gave book readings and slideshows on art. She also invited speakers such as John Dewey, Susan B. Anthony, and Clarence Darrow to give public lectures to working class people. Adams, Florence Kelly, and others established the Women's Trade Union League, which continued the effort to provide safe working conditions and living wages for factory workers. Adams won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1931. Jane Adams died four years later. However, her vision led to the professional core of social workers that still fight the battle against poverty, discrimination, and violence in every American city.